oh what is up y'all again it is me tasha c and this particular video you know y'all uh it can, it's a topic i didn't know about popped up until i went on you know the ig instagram and you know seeing this i didn't even know this was occurring now i heard about you know um the the, the pink sauce last year um and kind of like I honestly didn't even know it had made it to um, two stores for a while for a temporary release and also online because of the packaging and stuff issue, you know, it was phenomenal. And also the ingredients by um, Veronica Shaw, a.k.a. Uh, Seth uh, Pie. I almost say it's her, uh, Seth, uh, her name, Pie or Shy. You know, like I said, this incredible pink sauce. But then she didn't want to tell the greens and so forth. But anyway, y'all also had Thursday blessings. Yes, y'all, my parents are supposed to sick. Oh gosh, hope they get be uh, better. If y'all watched the last video, check it out to my response. It's kind of 30 minutes talking, you know, about, you know, Mr. Bitter Bow uh, Q, aka formerly Funkin' and Neva, and coming for Coley Bailey and Haley. Um, uh, ba Bailey basically and even down to DDD to that point you know whether or not she's pregnant or not you know make sure you know like subscribe but y'all like I said my parents are both still sick one of my sisters not my sis I'm usually they make a uh, shout out to Nini's kitchen yeah well I'll be glad when she finally get a book back online and I'm waiting for you sis <laughs> okay but other than that we're gonna talk about like this pink hot sauce issue and unfortunately it, at this point it's stagnation and like um miss veronica is like really going through it now like even though she has had this business deal that's supposed to be lucrative it seems like it's like what what the hell what's going on right about now but like i said parents to my, uh, 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 shout out to my uh, both my parents also my sister who probably gave them to them for my other so my other so my other relatives you know it's like people coming around with well, you get a cold you get a cold you get a cold and shit whatever like i said i'm still fine right now but due to the fact that people are sick and stuff i think on behalf of my parents and stuff with my uh, and, and stuff um I'm going to have either Hashi Tashi later on or just have, you know, of course, make sure I'm taking up some of my immune system abuse. But also, because of circumstances, I have to avoid them as well. Um, I will be taking, um, you know, Hadi Batotic or at least a little, you know, some Irk and Jerk, you know, brandy mix, you know, whatever, you know, maybe uh, uh, half of a, uh, you know, maybe, you know, half a pint or something or two shots, whatever. I, I usually don't be drinking liquor like that. But anyway, y'all, you know, keep my uh, family positive vibes or whatever, so forth. So, this sorry, y'all. All of a sudden, it just had clicked off. So, my voice had went out, y'all, uh, for a second. No, it is not your phone, a tablet, or TV, or whatever you are watching, you know, and hearing my lovely voice. Um it it went out but yeah it's a cautionary tale and about like what you can learn from this and hopefully she does actually grow back from this because like i said it was already some pro problems some mistakes in learning and growing but at the same time it's like questionable like okay what was in this contract that has put this woman in this position but before also i um do this show i also wanted to bring up of course you know um in advance hugs and loves to everybody we send out positive vibes and um also i want to put out uh you know if you send a like and share and whatever this video where you find uh, you have found or listen to this at you know i gotta bring my boy El Chata with his um pc character it, it, i'm sorry it's hilarious <laughs> i might leave this for a while y'all i love you thank you for the i love you yeah, man, it's getting hot in here going crazy, man. I need everybody to keep screaming that shit. Oh, time for war. Time for war. Look at that. Thank you for the heart. I love you. 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 Come on, man. Keep turning me up, man. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I <laughs> just wanted to say, kid, hugs, good love. But in a couple of seconds like i said it seems like a cautionary tale but not to say she can't bounce back but it is questions like okay did she read the fine print about her you know now she's at the point she possibly get evicted from her home she doesn't have enough money to you know money to even get her kids anything to eat or anything like that after this phenomenal and you're not you know and you made a deal to publish this so let's get in the first video where she, they t we you know a couple of videos talking about this here i was actually looking for pictures for this video 
and I didn't know it finally got published in stores and this is from people.com from the people you know um like magazine company okay this is from Rebecca Azine this was published actually earlier beginning of this year in January 13th 2023 at 4 p.m eastern time I don't know why I had to give the times and stuff I don't know. okay TikTok's viral spells pink sauce is now sold at Walmart oops Okay, TikToker Chef Pie uh, created a, a concoction that went viral this summer. TikTok viral is a uh, pink sauce is hitting Walmart shares this month. Chef Kai, a, a TikTok creator, posted about her original pink sauce on a social media platform in June 2000, uh, 2020, 22, you know, last year that summer this popularity exploded uh, folded from there and the hashtags has ranked at 641 million after a usually popular uh, usually popular uh, popular demand the miami chef has now partnered with shaves gourmet a food brand no, uh, known for its sauces to uh, to more widely sell her creation in the u.s hitting a shelf of four uh, four thousand walmart locations the colorful academic will be available in stores and online school see at the real tale start mid-january until july 2023 hey it really just ended I didn't even know about this until what about five minutes ago. Um, this just ended last month. Vegan and gluten uh, free versions will also be available because was looking to try the uh, the, the viral mis mixture. Per, at per release, pink sauce is uh, is now mass mass uh, now mass mass manufactured by Dave's government under the FDA guidelines. The official regulations came after Pi received criticism over the manufacturing, distributing, distributing of the sauce last summer. She began selling sauce for sales for twenty dollars a bottle in June two thousand twenty twenty-two. With her initial stock selling out, out in a matter of days. The sauce, which gets the bardic peak color from the, the red dragon fruit, oh, okay, is it recommended to be used with wings, burritos, uh, chicken tenders, and salads. I heard like it's kind of like similar to like, like a pink version of ranch. Friends awaiting the sauce, however, had a number of complaints. Pie didn't describe the taste before shipping the bottle out, saying that you cannot explain the flavor of the sauce because it tastes like nothing else. But that could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of nasty. Shit. Okay, let me let me go ahead. In a, a TikTok video response to one of the uh, one of the viewers' critiques, one customer received their pink sauce packages at home. And more complaints piled up, piled on. The labels were misprinted, stating that they were. 44 okay you know y'all looking for an angel number or maybe a possible good three digit out there for y'all you know if y'all play the numbers um 4444 four, four, four servings in the bottle rather than 444 four, 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 uh, four grams and uh, 30 servings Pie corrected this mistake for future bottles and also had to clarify the sauce was not made in her home kitchen but in an FDA certified commercial facility where, where, when consumers question the safety of the product. I'm a normal human being and I woke up to, uh, to a million insults, she told the Washington Post uh, at the time in response to all the criticism. The world is really curious about my creation and they were being malicious. Day Gourmet stepped in after noticing the success of the product alongside the struggles pie facing on the manufacturing end. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me redo this. Okay. The creator of the viral pink sauce says she's broke following the brand deal with Dave's Gourmet. I've been silent for financial sabotage. He uh, showed on, on August of 24, 2023. Veronica Shaw, the creator of the viral uh, TikTok viral pink sauce, started the com that company that took her sauce to legit status and Walmart stores nationwide hasn't paid her. Huh? <sighs> Last week in a GoFundMe um, a campa a campaign with a goal of $100,000. Shaw, who also goes by Chef Pie, revealed that she was facing financial difficulties because the company that supported her sauce legitimately hasn't fulfilled their agreement. As a young entrepreneur with big, big dreams, I have followed my intuition and went forth towards my dreams to create something new, she wrote. 
I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust the company that is trying to take everything from me. They lie to me, they're not paying me, and are not um, be, uh, being transparent about the records. Without explicitly naming the company, which is presumably Dave's Gourmet, Shaw alleged that they have not reimbursed her for the marketing costs she paid out of pocket. Huh? I have been silenced and financially sabotaged, she continued. I'm a single mom. I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids my kids' food on my own. Oh, my gosh. A spokesperson from Dave's Gourmet refuted Shaw's allegations in a, in a statement provided to Black Bavity, Bavity. Dave's Gourmet has adhered on to the terms of the agreement with Miss Shaw. We disagree with Miss Shaw's allegations, the statement reads. Dave's Gourmet has paid Chef Fire over $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all the payments due, due and on time based upon terms of the contract. We offer to reimburse Miss Shaw for over the terms of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Miss Shaw. She indicated that she had to open an embedical resolution of the dispute and the parties are in discussion. An initial version of the sauce face controversy due to the lack of FDA approval and reports of it exploding during shipping added to customer concerns given its $20 price per bottle. It heightened online attention led to the partnership with Dave's Gourmet selling the sauce in over four 4,300 Walmart stores and online. Its availability started earlier this year and ended in July. Okay, I'm up here. You know, I'll go look that up. What should I be doing? I'm sitting here, y'all. Even though it's the same article, it did link me to Veronica Shaw's, um, aka um, Chef um, Pies, um, GoFundMe link. Hopefully, I remember to put that in, in my thing. Sorry, I'm looking at this right now, making sure it don't go off this time. So, sorry about that. Um, th I'm going down because I was actually reading, and this is from a link from complex.com that also was talking about this issue. Um, they had a link to of uh, her GoFundMe, which we created eight days ago, and it's for emergency, which her goal is to reach a hundred thousand dollars goal. I'm looking at it like this. I'm going to link it in there and I'll probably talk a little bit more beyond this video clip about it. Um, if people could pay money for such things as for fire or fire festival again, um, allegedly in the fact that's even this. Okay. You know, um, I feel that if people can help, people can help. Okay, this is another part that was included, which I have down here. My mom, who is this is on disability, has been giving us twenty dollars just to get by on a on a daily basis. School is a few days away, and I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I am currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. Or the sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that uh, that has that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't get up. I need your help. Okay, if y'all, you know, listen throughout the, the last couple, you know, like little video clips that I had in there on, you know, a couple posts. Um, the thing is, it's like, you know, I don't know what was in the fine print. The company, of course, is trying to, of course, debunk that, like, you know, yeah, uh, that that's not true and so forth and so forth. And um, like I said, you know, the qu the question is, does anybody know has ordered the pink sauce? Like I said, that, there were problems with her distributing it for one thing was a good, uh, was one thing. Her not refusing to tell the ingredients. People don't want to be up here thinking they're eating platypus feet and shit. You need to be able to let people know what the ingredients and what they're paying for and also there was a problem how she distributed then if it, if it was met under FBA approval conditions and I didn't know like I said with those problems I mean it was like here she had gotten a deal but it's like what was in the fine print if she's saying they stole all this money from her, now she's at the point where if her mom who is I don't know say if she's able to stay with her mom and her babies at the time being until this this is resorted out or maybe she's able to reach 
you know her goal on GoFundMe. I may put the link in, you know, just in case if people do want to go ahead and um, send something to her to, you know, for her emergency GoFundMe. But it's a cautionary tale about um, like the mistakes. Because if it's a point where she's saying, claiming that they stole all this stuff from her, and it, you know, it's like, okay, well, they distribute all this stuff, and she's saying she paid out of pocket, huh? Um, uh, it, 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 it just didn't make any sense. And it's like, okay, well, I, you know, I'm not in that position where I have, you know, I, I even have an entrepreneurs as of yet, or, you know, if I come to that at all, but also the fact is say doing like say a partnership, especially being able to work with a company or companies, y'all, if y'all have like say business where y'all have that or know people in that position, um, like I said, this, this also is a cautionary tale about making sure that you, you know, do backward tracing is it's good to like, for us, like at least take a finance, you know, financial course or two and business course to, you know, just to have, um, especially going into the business, but I also wanted to put, it's going to be longer and I'm just warning y'all in advance, um, where I talk more about this. And there are also videos from the woman speaking herself about what's going on that, like I said, I want to point out someone who, who is good as far as giving business advice and helping people with business that's been on IG that I've been following for years and also has a YouTube page. And I also want to bring up and talk about in this upcoming almost 13 minute clip. So I'm, I'm letting y'all know in advance that um, about there was another issue going on and also follow Miss, I think, uh, Bling Corporation. Uh, you'll see in the video and hopefully I'll remember to put that link in the video um, description as well. If you're watching on YouTube, especially, and maybe if I'm able to add in, in Instagram. But like I said, going back to this one, because I don't want to mispronounce her name at all. Uh, quick uh, uh, Argonum, I think I, I like to call, call her. Um, like I said, she talks about this as well, and also talk about the issue about businesses, you know, that may not have the same income or doing slowly, and also may business say around the time when Miss Rona and the pandemic, you know, money has started coming in. And it's like what you could do for there, but also being able, you know, like even though we're going information and stuff like that, there's still ways that just like we rise above a Great Depression and other areas, which maybe I should also take a look at history times where it was information and times where, you know, financially it was a lot of pluckery going on. You know what I mean? But like I said, I will list it in the page. And like I said, to warn you all in advance, I know I'm rambling all over the place um, that is going to be chipmunk sound and high pitch due to the fact that, um, there is music being played, especially when Miss Veronica um, is talking um, in the background. So that's mostly why you're going to be hearing chipmunks. But I hope you'll be able to listen and hear um, what I was talking about because it does have to do with the like the cautionary tale or maybe business deals and um, the warning part of like going into partnership. Like I said, she already had certain issues and be able to get this opportunity. And it's like, okay, is this, I, I ain't gonna lie y'all. Now nah, I'm thinking about it. Did I research this company? Have they had problems before? Um, this, and it's like, okay, did she just sign this by herself? And how are they able to, she doesn't know the rig, she doesn't know anything going. And it's like, so she was just like, okay, here you go. Let me pay out of my pocket. And that's that. It's a lot of questions that can be ra raised about this. But hopefully she gets her stuff together. Because say she's able to meet her goal. And it can be proven that she has not, um, you, you know, like wasted money. Or she gotten, you know, they're claiming that they have distributed what they were supposed to distribute to her. So is it one of the things where she just like messed up her whole old money and she thinking she's supposed to be owed more money? Or did they take the thing whereas they didn't give her all the payments that were promised or they found ways to find loopholes or the records not adding up then yeah she should be served ju justice um you know for bit you know for business and financial and, and so forth and if she's able to get out the contract and able to find another way to distribute and do it the right way this time to go from there because this of course is and learning pick up and what she's doing now because if it's any day where she can get evicted and the share comes in and start taking stuff out i hope that pray that she's able to find somewhere safe for her children and her to be at but like i said it's just it's such a question mark because it's like okay 
where the deal just stopped with the sales um which was last month because it's july like i said i did not know until i seen this looking for uh, a whole nother topic that i was going to talk about make a video of and i seen this i'm like wait a minute that's pink sauce lady and she talking about she had to make a GoFundMe and all this other stuff and then she you know doesn't have anything in her name to get anything for her kids and it's kind of like well at the so a time saving these resolve you know some people in between even entrepreneurships even having say uh, you know a business or businesses you you know with multi stream because some people even for help it health and short business which I understand 4k uh, and so forth they will still work a job or regular job you know in the meantime and um unless she can prove like she's not a non able-bodied person but she's still okay you know what about going to like human services or social services i don't know if they still use the term social services but you know or maybe you know google and like churches that may distribute food at the time being say even she has to go and get like i said certain resources uh, free resources or services that she need need things and help with until the time being if say that is proven or even you know to work herself a web so she gets herself out of this um you know financial ruin at the moment at this time being she's you know like i said unless she's a non able-bodied person and stuff to go on and even then she still need to be able to you know have a safe uh space for her children and her to stay at and also you know work on getting out of what she's out of you know like i said even if she has to go back to say working what we call regular job or since she was already a chef can she do something that you know has it where she's doing you know sh you know like going back as a chef part-time even if it's say like just a regular um chain restaurant until this is resolved and to get herself out of that hole but anyway y'all sorry sorry you know y'all i can be ranting and just be talking like um the delts and charlie brown <laughs> cartoons if y'all know what that is but let me go ahead and let y'all listen to this and high uh, high pitch and i'll be saying my hugs and loves at the end this time but you know what do y'all think about this it's you know it's sad but it's like what the heck and stuff. But I wanted, you know, to show her page purposely so you can regulate, like I said, she strategizes. It's all about, like, helping people with, you know, with businesses and so forth. And this right here, now this is why, did I, do I follow them? I think they do, but since we're on here, and it was another topic in here because this is pertaining to businesses and entrepreneurship, let's look at this. Pink sauce creator claims she's broke due to the deal. I don't have money. Ooh. Okay, this is her talking. Hear my post. They keep deleting my post. They keep deleting my post, y'all. Share this live. Share this live. They keep trying to silence me. They keep deleting the post because they know if they see it, they know if the people see it, what will happen? They lie to everybody. I don't even know how my posts keep getting deleted. Like, they just keep getting deleted. But these people, they are afraid because they know they're stealing. They know what they're doing is wrong. Uh, they keep deleting my posts. Don't worry. Don't read the story. Like, GoFundMe. Okay, there's countless new business that grew under them. They're now crashing. What let's just take here. And like I said, Queen. Okay, I, I don't want to mispronounce her name, but like I said, follow her. She be giving out like I said, like information, and also like I said, besides freebies, she gives great, like I said, um, great things and stuff about it can help us. Say learning where you know, like where you want to learn some business, trying to start new businesses, um, and so forth. And you know, share. Like I said, she's really a good cool person. I've been following her for the last couple years. And let's read this statement. I'm trying to keep up. She also has a YouTube channel, channel as well. And I think she also gives like great financial advice and, and so forth. Sometimes give away. Like I said, she's like I said, I, you know, she's a great page to follow and great YouTube channel. And like I said, great if you can. You know, besides also giving like if you can her freebie fire Fridays that she still has. She also has um, great course. I mean, like remember to like link to show her page, um, her actual web page. If I can after reading these two posts, I'm sorry I'm going to rant, but you know I feel this very important. This is saying the rate of speed of something goes up is the same rate it comes down. 
Rapid growth of businesses can often be the worst thing for an experienced and ill-prepared new business owner. But there's a valuable lessons to be learned so, so, so mistakes aren't repeated. One of the business learning um, lessons you got from this. Repulsive by the Victoria Chef by Shaw, creator of TikTok's viral pink sauce, alleged that a partnership has left her has left her in financial ruin. The bubblegum view con con condiment was a concoction that Shaw devised in her kitchen while working as a private chef in Miami. Although she never revealed the sauce ingredients, her followers quickly demanded it. In January uh, 20, uh, uh, 2013, it was announced that Shaw had partnered with Dave Gourmet, a condiment uh, company that added pink sauce into his portfolio, selling it on Walmart and in uh, 4,000 locations nationwide. Live. While partnership seems to change the trajectory of uh, Shaw's business, the internet sensation is claiming that's not the case. Why to hear her story? Last week, Shaw took her Instagram announcing the launch of a GoFundMe page and asking financial assistance. She claims that she was quote quote silenced and sabotaged, although she does not name the uh, um, does not name the said company in a video or in her social media. Shaw also claimed that the company is removing her Instagram posts where she is outing them. She has since deleted post uh, since deleted posts containing allegations from her page. Okay. Um. Okay, honey, keep screaming. The dirty money's fast, cute, but foundations are solid will always be the curve. Again, it's a place that makes me sick. I'm dropping free game. Ding! I know it's, um, I don't understand where she's going, but just because my thing doesn't issue. Well, I don't even know this come up. I hate when I don't get the notifications and stuff that she posted just up here. I just found this, but, um, since we're on the business thing, um. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to fast forward this whole thing. Um, look at here. Look, look at here, the mandates may be attorney destiny, say whistleblower alleges that the mandates will be coming back and October lines case was not something bring back the man that's his was made face um, covering um winning doors along in office with the clothes um after being there. But I was trying to get to the one that was bringing up here. Like I said, this is tonight, the tune in that she has a full interview on her chat YouTube channel. I know my voice in this particular video because of copyright reasons of the noise in the background playing in um Chef Pie's um Miss Veronica's video. Um so I definitely want y'all to check out some I think this is one day ago, but hopefully it's still on there. Like I said, the same name is also in her YouTube, aka Ninja. I hope I'm saying her name. I'm about to plug Cleveland. Hopefully y'all can see this in the title. And I also need to make sure I put a link. That's what I need to put a link at least to her. It's just a link to her website and to her page. Like I said, she be giving that game. Okay. This also came out today, and I know this is me seem like a rant, but since it's also dealing with the fact of like, you know, maybe giving lessons learned about the pitfalls and possible fails that can come from a business or like low sales, and since the subject happens to deal with like the effects of sales and, you know, in a, um, so this, uh, um, here's what um, this was said I've seen a couple of people um, that I follow on IG never in 10 years of being a stylist half my business have been like this AMG take it's like it's our prices we start learning how to do it ourselves our prices cool washing dry and last longer and here she says um, um, there are so many things I called out it was called a fear monger like I said she be getting out real game she does not sit here it's so much priceless game um, that and it, it, it's stuff that is workable that you can use that can help yourself and help other people it's, it's, she don't be giving stuff like on oh, some scare stuff or you know or some conspiracy or, you know like no some uh, you know outrageous stuff it's you know it's <laughs> It's just giving great information and priceless, of course. But let me continue. When everyone was celebrating spinning like crazy, I said most of y'all want to ignore and we're afraid to believe the crash is coming and it's going to be economically devastating. As we see now, gas is like four dollars but then they're down. But okay, I have studied the businesses that failed, sustained, grew, and were born in the Great Depression. I have studied the changes in consumer spilling and purchases from that era. Uh, maybe we'll write that down too. Oh, this is post code from Miss Marie Miami. Yes, that's the person that I've seen page that I follow earlier. Okay, from this era. Okay, in February 2020, before anyone was even. Oh, the post that she had referred to. This is, like I said, this is her statement. And she got the credit that she has uploaded. Post credit. In February 2020, before anyone was even talking about it, I created hashtag private over perish. And now people are starting to feel it. And it's just starting, folks. But trust me, if folks can not only make it, but thrive during the great depression, so can we. Yeah, you better put the positive information. We are not stuck, and we will not stay in stagnation. Free to attend if you're busy this weekend, buy the replay and watch later. Like I said, she. She, um, she is worth this. Okay, this is also bleeding to my Balloon Miami. Follow that on IG as well, her page as well. Ladies, let's talk about it. I can only count the number of business owners in my industry and countless others that have reached out to me for the advice. So many of you are bowing depression and all high or serious anxiety, making something you're doing wrong since, since so many have put it, have been, you know, put it, it has been so slow. Your income has changed significantly, and they are panicking. Sis, hear me out. Don't allow income you earned in 2020, 2021, and 2022 tricking you forgetting that it was pa pandemic money, uh, circuit money, and not the norm. If you started business in 2020, you are experiencing a rude awakening and are going through it. Just like the hairstyles and treat, are you feeling the same way? What uh, What do you do? Or, or where are you located? And where are you doing with discussion? Discussion just like a lot of sales have slowed down from steadily running sales, especially of those who started after 2020. Just because they were new and or made a product or service specifically responsive to the pandemic situation like mass virtual tutoring, etc. Not to mention inflammation, okay? Even, even larger, even larger, stable, long-standing brands are feeling the impact of consumers that have less disposable income. Right. But we're not the first experience in economic turn, turn down. I mean, downtown, what did I say? Turn down. Sorry, y'all, sometimes I'll be personal. That means we have history to learn from and improve strategies to use. So if you haven't given up yet, this is for you. This is, she's hosting actually two free webinars, Marketing Without Money, a 10 for free, which is going to be available tomorrow on August 25th and also on um, Sunday at live Pacific Eastern Time. You're looking for ways to reach your customer to little to no money. If you're about to launch a new podcast or service, you're about to start a new business, you need to attend this webinar. Like I said, she, she's great. Let, let, let's, let, let's hear, let, let's go here. She is the founder of the virtual, now let me make sure the notifications. She still has it, which, you know, is shopping retail, the host, black owned business, and even delivers food, coke, food and so forth. So like I said, she still has the business. Um, like I said, I gotta remember to put that in here. But yeah, I will put her links. 
as you see, and she also, like I said, has a, like, a business cover. Like I said, she is dope and phenomenal, and she's broke up. Like I said, she actually got tips made, but, well, you know, she, you know, but, like I said, it's good to follow her. I know I'm rambling on and stuff. Okay, y'all, in my closing statement again, I want to say thank you very much. Again, hugs and loves. And I'm going to make sure that I put everyone that I listed, even including down to Chef Pies, um, if you say want to gift it or go fund me. I'll try to link it in the in my YouTube video to uh, to to watch it, and at least the IG to try to add, like I said, the um the woman Ar Arcanum. Oh my gosh, um the Alcara page, like I said, and also you can follow her um her YouTube as well. If y'all listen to mention, she's giving out a free uh, webinar, basically, you know. Give us some tips to be successful. Like, you know, you have a business or starting a business with little antenna. Like I said, she be give she be giving some priceless gems as usual. And um, like I said, I'll be listening also Miss Bling Corporation. I hope I'm saying less less like not out, like I said, I'll add it. Um to remember to put it in the better for digital. What the f see? Mm-mm. But like I said, y'all, it being uh, this is a cautionary tale, but I hope she comes out of it, and hopefully that stuff is all. But at the same time, for her to try to do what she can in the circumstances that she, she has. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to leave out of here, and I definitely will see y'all in the next ones. Y'all take care, enjoy the happy birthday. Try to stay safe. If y'all sick, hopefully y'all feel better. And hopefully by the time I'm, you know. In the next couple of days, when I make a video, my parents will be building it, and I'm not sick neither, y'all. Because then it'll be really delayed, because I will be here for a while if I get sick uh, again. Okay, but anyways, y'all, hugs and love, and uh, I know I'm rambling on, and um, I will see y'all in the next one. All right, I'm out. <laughs>